Welcome to another video. You may be new to Linux, or you may have spent some time using Linux, but somehow you're not able to find a distribution that suits your needs. Let's discuss this. In this video, we will try to help you build your perfect Linux distribution that will meet your needs and that you'll be happy with. We'll try to keep this as simple as possible. For that purpose, we'll break the issue of choosing Linux distributions into four categories. System base, desktop environments, user friendliness and your software choice. You can start building your perfect Linux distribution by choosing its base. For the most part, you'll be choosing between these four cases. If you need a rock-solid and slow-changing operating system, then you might go with a Debian-based distribution, because that's what you get with Debian Stable or its offshoots. If you are looking for a rock-solid base that changes from time to time, then you can go with an Ubuntu-based Linux distro. If a rock-solid distro and stable between its versions but still basically rolling release, meaning bringing new features with every new release, is what you need, then you'll choose Fedora or some of its derivatives, like Navara project. And finally, if you need a distro that is changing all the time, constantly bringing new features, then your choice is a rolling release model, such as Arch Linux or some of its numerous offshoots. What you can get with some of these choices, you can watch in some of our previous videos. Of course, some distributions are not based on any of these aforementioned, like Solus for instance, but to keep things simple, we'll stay with these four. Your next element to build your perfect Linux distribution is a desktop environment. To learn more about desktop environments available in Linux, you can watch some of our past videos where we discussed some of the available choices. Your desktop environment choice might depend on two factors, your available hardware and the workflow you want to accomplish. So, if you own the latest and greatest hardware, then you might choose GNOME, a desktop environment for Linux that sometimes can be heavy on resources. If you own mid-range hardware, in that case you can go with KDE, Cinnamon, Pantheon, Mate and Budgie. If your machine is old or you are low on resources, then you can choose some lightweight desktop environments, such as XFCE, LXQT and LXDE, for example. It needs to be said that XFCE, for instance, will work just fine on your hardware, and KDE, of course, can be installed on the latest and greatest hardware. The second factor is the workflow you want to achieve. So. If you would like to have a Windows-like system with a taskbar on the bottom of the screen and a start menu, then you'll go with KDE or Cinnamon. If you are looking for a Mac OS-like workflow, then your choice might be the Pantheon desktop environment. If you are a fan of Android and the way it works, then you can go with GNOME because it works similarly to Android. If a classic 19s like desktop workflow is what you need, then XFCE, LXQT and LXDE got you covered. However, almost every desktop environment allows customization and you can reach more or less the same results with any of them. And of course, these are not the only ones. There are even more desktop environments, but we have chosen these for the sake of the video. The next criterion is basically user-friendliness. Is a distro tailored for beginners or do users have to jump through so many hoops to set up their operating systems? 
So, if you're looking for a beginner-friendly desktop, your best bet might be Ubuntu or some of its offshoots, such as Linux Mint or Zorin OS. Manjaro, Fedora, Elementary OS and KDE Neon among the others are for intermediate users in our opinion. Advanced users know they can choose between Arch Linux, Debian and Gentoo. So, your choice depends on a combination of the previous points. For example, if you are looking for a stable, Windows-like, beginner-friendly distribution, you might choose Zorin OS Core, for instance, or Linux Mint Cinnamon. Or, if you are about to install a rolling release, Android-like distro, for intermediate users, you can go with the Manjaro GNOME edition. If you are looking for a rolling release, Mac OS like Distro for advanced users, you might choose Arch Linux with Pantheon desktop. And last but not least, point in the video is software choice. First of all, Linux is not what it used to be. Linux now covers almost every piece of software other operating systems have. So, everything depends on what you need. Apart from casual use of your computer, you might need to have a business setup or gaming setup. If you need a business setup, then you'll certainly need an office suite. Linux offers so many good options nowadays. The number one choice might be free and open source software. And in that department, Linux offers LibreOffice and OnlyOffice. Those will meet any need you might have. If you are after free but proprietary software, then your choice might be free office or WPS office. Still, if you are tied to using Microsoft services, you can use MS apps in Linux, like Office 365 in the online format via a browser. The same applies to Google services, such as Google Workspace. Wait, there is more. In the audio production department, there are excellent programs, such as Audacity and Ocean Audio, for example. Video production in Linux offers some of the most popular programs, such as OpenShot, Kden Live, Shotcut, DaVinci Resolve, and Lightworks. Photo and image editing includes apps like GIMP, XNView, Inkscape or Pinta. All the popular browsers are of course available in Linux, including open source and proprietary ones. Mozilla Firefox, Chromium, Brave, Vivaldi, Opera, Chrome, Edge. For instance, if you are tied to MS's services, you can easily access online tools such as Office 365 via Edge browser. And finally, if a gaming setup is what you need, then Linux offers services like Steam and Lutris that cover an ever-growing number of popular games. And that's it, more or less. We hope we've made it easier for you to choose your ideal Linux distribution that will suit your workflow and your need. Tell us what you think and what would you recommend. Don't forget to give us a like, share the video or subscribe to our channel if you haven't already done that. Thanks for watching and see you next time.